Well, hey guys, here in uh, Mesa, Gilbert, Arizona area. And this is uh, my garden. You can see uh, a bunch of sunflowers growing and stuff. Today's May 19th here, and um, it's a beautiful day. It's uh, 82 degrees right now. This will be the last day of in the 80s, and uh, tomorrow we're gonna hit the high 90s. Um, but this will be the last day of the 80 degree temperatures for quite some time. Um, this is the time of year that I start doing my monsoon outlook for the summertime here in Arizona. And um, <clears throat> basically, I'm gonna have my monsoon forecast here for you. Uh, so what is it looking at? Well, what are we looking at? Well, um, from probably not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow. So Saturday on where we're looking, temperatures are going to be basically <clears throat> high 90s, low 100s and uh, starting to get 100 degrees by Sunday. And after Sunday, the temperatures are likely to stay that way till the monsoon's arrival, uh, which is going to be in very late June this summer. Uh, probably after the 28th of June, we'll start seeing some dust storms and some rains in southern Arizona. And the first rains look to arrive here where I am probably after the 2nd or 3rd of July <clears throat> across the area. Yep, monsoon's going to be a little bit early to on time. The official arrival date in Phoenix is July 7th, uh, 2017 for this year, but it looks like we're gonna get a little bit of a head start. The southwest monsoon is already arriving in Kerala, in India, uh, but that's a separate monsoon system altogether, but it just gives you an idea. Most of the monsoon seasons or monsoons around the world pretty much behave the same way. We have a big high pressure that anchors itself over the Four Corners region that comes out of central Mexico, Mexico and um, then we also have a big high over India that pushes moisture in from the Bay of Bengal all the way up into parts of Pakistan and in uh, North pa parts of Southern Pakistan and Iraq, all those areas also get affected by the monsoon, but they get it all the way from the south in Kerala, India. It makes it all the way up there by July 15th, July 20th time period. So what we're looking at basically for our monsoon, which is called the North American monsoon, um, is going to arrive a little bit early this year, just a couple of days ahead of schedule, um, nothing like two or three weeks ahead of time. Um, we're probably gonna start seeing pre-monsoonal showers uh, falling across the mountains of Arizona as early as mid to late June. Uh, probably after the 20th of June, we'll start seeing some cloud buildups in our mountains and down in southeast Arizona across the area as well. And um, also, it looks like we're going to see um, monsoon arrive here in the Phoenix area, probably around late on the 28th across the area. And it looks like the monsoon will probably not end till mid-October. So there's reasons why it's gonna linger, but I'll explain that in a moment. So what about the rainfall for this year's monsoon? Are we expecting a dry monsoon? Are we expecting a wet monsoon? What exactly are we expecting? Well, neither or, to be honest with you. El Nino is kinda out on the bandwagon right now. It's not really gonna affect our monsoon very much. Uh, but we are currently in moderate drought across the area. And uh, when southern Arizona is in a drought, that is not necessarily a good thing um, because the high pressure likes to set up shop where areas have been dry over the springtime. And um, the last rain we saw, the real last substantial good rain, uh, was February 28th into uh, March 1st across the area. And since then, it's been very dry with just hit and miss showers here and there, occasional thunderstorm just producing a little bit of rain. But it looks like we're going to see uh, the dry season continue to the end of June. So from here on out, it's gonna be 100 to 110 every single day with a couple of 115s, 118s in there, here and there. Right up, the hottest weather is likely to be the first week of, of July, uh, which will help to create atmospheric thunderstorms over the area. So basically what we're looking at is rainfall for the month of June looks to be below average, below average rain for the month of June, which would, uh, the arrival date uh, or the season time frame is September 30th being the end date. So June 15th through September 30th is the monsoon season, uh, but the rains fall a little outside of that uh, window. So it looks like that our monsoon rains are gonna arrive the very last week of June, and we should have some pretty good thunderstorms and rains around here with the monsoon onset definitely being after the 3rd of July across the area, and July looks to be average to slightly wetter than average. August looks to be average to slightly wetter than average. And for those months, temperatures also look like they're going to be hotter than normal across the area during those months. Um, during September, it looks like we're gonna have a slightly drier than normal September, except for the very end of the month. The last week of September should be wet. 
and October looks like it's going to be wetter than average as well across the year with above average monsoon rains. What about severe weather um, for the season? Are we going to see any severe weather this monsoon? Well, uh, the monsoon season is going to produce severe weather for sure. It's very hard to pinpoint this early on in advance, uh, but it looks like that the monsoon is going to have some severe weather this year. The best likely time for severe weather is going to be mid to late September through early to mid-October time period. And during that time, we could see severe weather outbreaks with supercell thunderstorms, which will be capable of producing flooding rains, dangerous lightning, high winds, and large hail across the area, even the possibility of a few isolated tornadoes this summer, even in the valley, as we head in through late September and through the first couple of weeks of October across the area as the monsoon shuts off and starts combining with cold fronts that are going to come in from the Pacific. Um, a little earlier on. The Pacific cold front is going to come a little early this year due to the fact of a very weak El Nino or what we like to call a wet and so neutral phase that's going to take place this autumn into the coming winter. Uh, so right now monsoon rainfall is going to be about between as little as two inches to as much as 10 inches here in the valley with our mountains picking up between 20 and 30 inches of rain in southeast Arizona around Tucson likely to get between 2 and 10 inches of rain as well and some areas picking up as much as 15 inches of rain with the mountains such as the Huachucas and San Juan, uh, uh, those mountainous areas getting up to 30 inches of rain. So this year's monsoon is likely to be average in terms of rainfall and uh, temperatures though it's going to be very hot. So we'll keep you guys posted on all this as this uh, develops but again uh, June is going to be a very typical month. Uh, hot temperatures during the day, mild at night um, and July is going to be wet. Uh, at least on the early part of the month as the monsoon really uh, ramps up across the area it looks like the first couple of weeks of July are going to be wet uh, across the area with uh, daily threats of showers and thunderstorms across the area so we're going to keep you guys posted but this year's monsoon isn't looking like a bust or a gain across the area it looks very typical to be honest with you there could be a uh, the only month that I see that the monsoon is going to be weak is probably going to be in September uh, but other than that, it looks like a normal monsoon for the most part across the southwest this year. We'll keep you guys posted on updates as they come along. Uh, we'll be watching the development of a possible El Nino this year. And we'll keep you guys posted on that one as well. So we'll keep you guys posted and we'll talk to you all later. Be safe. Have my next update in the next couple of weeks.